Omni Wheel Robot. So an Omni Wheel Robot is a circular robot like this with three wheels. But uh, as uh, shown in this picture, the uh, these uh, wheels are specific since uh, they can slide uh, uh, laterally. Okay, so due to this property, this robot is said to be uh, autonomous since it can move in all direction. Oh, the first step of the problem is uh, to provide some uh, state equation of the robot, where the inputs corresponds to the um, uh, rotation rate of each wheel. Then we have to provide a 3D simulation, and then we'll have to uh, to make a loop, so that we change, uh, we transform the behavior of uh, the Omni wheel robot into a classical uh, model tank robot. Here is a representation of the robot. And we can see that uh, the robot can move with respect to the speed V. Uh, and any, uh, any direction is possible due to the fact that here, these small wheels here can rotate in this direction. So if we prefer in this direction, the wheel uh, behaves as a specific, uh, uh, as a classical wheel, but laterally, like this, due to these small uh, wheels you have inside the periphery of the wheel, we can slide. Not in this direction, we cannot slide, but only in this direction. So, if I, uh, uh, I will try to, to provide a model for this. So, if I consider only the wheel number one, what happened is that uh, the rotation of each wheel, so that is uh, actuated by some motors, so the rotation, if I call it, for instance, the first wheel, omega 1, if I multiply by r uh, the radius of each wheel, then this rotation corresponds to the scalar product of v1, so v1 is the speed uh, of uh, this point from the bottom, so V1, scalar I1, so the direction of the wheel, of motion of the wheel. So all these vectors, I1, uh, V1, and so on, are on the 2D plane X and Y. So that, w I suppose I have this. Now, due to the composition of uh, the, the speed vectors, I have a V1 is equal to V, the speed of this point, the center, uh, minus a theta dot multiplied by i1. Okay, so we can understand this because a is a radius, so the distance from uh, the center of the robot and the center of each wheel. So it is a Varignon uh, formula. Then from these two formulas, I conclude that r omega 1 is equal, so I will replace V1 which is here by this, so the scalar product of V minus A theta dot I1 and here I will have I1. So I will develop this and I obtain which is equal to due to the fact that the scalar product is bilinear, I obtain this, minus A, and the scalar product between I1 and I1 is equal to 1, this is why I have here something like this. Now, what happens is that V, which is here, have a derivative uh, which corresponds to here X and Y, so V, uh, so V uh, dot, uh, oh, excuse me, V is equal to X dot Y dot. Well, okay. 
and uh, of course I will have uh, I1 I can compute this coordinate due to the fact that the head of the robot is this point and here I have an angle which corresponds to theta, the heading of the robot. So due to this I will have here I1 equal minus sinus theta cos theta and it will be the same for each wheel I have I2 also which corresponds to minus sine but I have to shift by minus divided by 3 and here cos of theta shifted by this and the same for I3 but I will have to shift on the other direction so my, uh, minus sine of theta plus p divided by 3 cos of theta plus pi divided by 3 I obtain this relation so I have taken for each wheel the similar relation where with omega 1, omega 2, omega 3 and now I have replaced V I1 I developed the scalar product as follows taking into account this for V and the expression for I1, I2 and I3 and I get this uh, I can also put it in a matrix form as uh, A of theta multiply by x dot uh, y dot theta dot where a of theta is as a coefficient given by this 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 so all this coefficient with uh, this uh, 1 divided by r correspond to this matrix okay so now it gives me the state equation which x dot y dot theta dot is equal to a minus y of theta so I have to inverse this matrix multiply by omega 1, omega 2, omega 3 okay. now I can also for the picture add other start state variable which correspond to the angle of each wheel so each wheel can turn like this or yes like this what sense as expressed in the picture above where I can see that for each wheel I have the state variable I can add corresponding to S1, S2, uh, S3 and this and the derivative of this angle so for instance uh, that one is directly related to uh, corresponds to omega 1 for instance the same for the other wheels that's why here I can add that s dot 1 s dot 2 s dot 3 it equal to omega 1 omega 2 omega 3 so now this system correspond to a system with three inputs corresponding to the speed of each wheel and the state x corresponds to x y theta and the angle s1 s2 s3 for the drawing I need first to draw the body which corresponds to triangle 
and since the distance between the center and each center of each wheel corresponds to A, then here I will have the coordinate A0 uh, and due to the fact that in the Z direction I have a radius equal to R, I will have to add R. It is the coordinate of the first point. For the second point I will have here minus A divided by 2. Uh, here I will have for the second point minus a divided by 2. Now this corresponds to a square root of 3 divided by 2 and also r. So this is the coordinates of the second uh, point which correspond to the center of the wheel. And again here I will have the same minus a divided by 2 minus square root of 3 divided by 2 and r. This is a coordinate of this one. And the wheel, of course, will be like this. For the first wheel, second wheel, third wheel, represented in the picture below. So the sketch associated to this, corresponding to the matrix, will be the following. I will have to to take each point to be able to draw the picture without lifting the pen. So I will perform this shape. And then I will put something just here, just to, to know where is the front of the robot. For instance, the camera could be here, and it's important to, to have a specific direction corresponding to the heading of the robot. So here I will put the coordinate A, 0, R, and 1 for homogeneous coordinates. Here, minus A divided by 2, A square root 3 divided by 2, R, 0 for the second point, minus A divided by 2, this one, are 1, excuse me, here it's a 1 for homogeneous coordinates. Here I come back to this point, so A, 0, R, 1, and then I go to the center, 0, 0, R, 1. Now I can draw at least the body after I will draw the wheel, and this corresponds to the following Python program. I can recognize the body, the specific matrix here in the draw omni wheel robot uh, uh, function here which is called by the main program so in the main program we initialize a figure we initialize r the radius of each wheel to 1 meter a to 3 meters this corresponds to the state vector so it will be here x y theta and here x s1 S2 and S3 and then I call the function uh, for the ring. So what happened is that uh, I will uh, the body is at the position mx my uh, which is extracted here from the state vector. So I will translate and rotate with respect to z of the angle theta just to put my drawing at the right picture. So since in is everything is initialized to zero, I will see the uh, body of the robot at the center. My Python program is here. It uses the uh, autolib library, which is used uh, in this lesson. 
initialize uh, if I run this program I can see here the body the distance between the body and the ground is equal to 1 if I change here for instance x to 3 and theta to 1 for instance, it will translate in the x direction of 3 meters and rotate by 1 radian I can see here the translation and the rotation, the front of the, of the robot is here now I want to draw the wheel number one so for this I will start with the initial sketch uh, which is given uh, uh, in, in uh, this frame this center is uh, correspond to the origin and I will have to move the wheel to the right position so for this I will have to build uh, the transformation matrix so first I have to rotate with an angle S1 so rotation of S1 0 0 to give the right angle then I will translate by a distance equal to A in the X direction, so I will put it here and I will have to find the right attitude to put the wheel uh, at a distance of R to the bottom so A, 0 and R then I will apply to my wheel the same transformation as the body I mean the rotation of the heading theta zero zero and also the translation of mx my and zero so from the initial sketch I will call it w zero I will build the transform sketch from this transformation matrix which is given in the uh, homogeneous coordinate the corresponding Python program is given here where I can see that uh, this one corresponds uh, the rotation of, uh, of the angle S1 and here the translation matrix rotation matrix so these two were the same as for the transformation of the body W0 is computed here by will 3 h which is inside the Autolib library here it is a transform sketch for the body and here a transform sketch for the wheel I switch to Python I run the program and I can see that the wheel, the first wheel is at the right direction if I translate here let's say by a 2 and here I give an angle of 1 and I can see that the wheel was able to turn with the body now I have to draw the two of the wheels the second one is S2 which is exactly the same uh, the same procedure as for drawing S1 except that I have to make the rotation here uh, with an angle uh, of 2p divided by 3 whereas here is minus 2p divided by 3 this is why here I have this and this the angle of course is different here is S2, S3 so if I I draw here the second wheel green and the last blue
I switch to Python, I run this program and I see all wheels. Again, I check that if I change just the angle, then all wheels will turn with the body. Okay. No, now I have drawn uh, my robot and I can perform a simulation. So for the simulation, I will have to enter my state equation, so recall that my state equation are given here uh, where I need a matrix A and this uh, the state variable x, y, theta, s1, x2, s3 the corresponding program is given here okay So to have a, a simulation, I will need a for loop, so my initial condition are given here. I have a simulation from time equals 0 to 10, and I have an earlier formula here. As explained here, this is given by this formula okay and um, I can see also that uh, s1 x2 s3 for the evolution function corresponds to omega 1 omega 2 omega 3 they are extracted from x and y here and here the matrix A is built outside the procedure here in the main program. At each step I will draw the robot. I switch to Python. This is my program. I run it and I can see all wheels rotating. The inputs are have been given by uh, here, 1 and 1 and 1, and since all are the same, we can see that the robot rotates without any translation. It will be different if here I change the speed of the wheels. So for a classical car, the wheels are like this, and I cannot move like this. So for a specific pilot who are used to drive a specific car, uh, it's uh, sometimes uh, uncomfortable to 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 pilot uh, uh, omni wheel robot. This is why we want to find a controller so that it behaves like a classical car. So we can see here that we can control the change of direction and the acceleration u2. Okay, so how we can do this? First, we know that uh, in our situation we are x dot y dot theta dot equal a minus of theta multiplied by omega. So omega 1, omega 2, omega 3. This is our classical system. So the, for the controller, we are able to collect theta and the controller will be as follows. We will choose omega, this vector, equal, uh, equal a of theta multiplied by, so I will take uh, something longer, move this, so multiply by V cos theta, V sine theta, and U1. Okay. So V is a new variable. 
So I will have here v dot is a state variable of my controller is equal to u2. So we can understand that this is just here to remove this nonlinear part here. And then due to this, I will be able to build here uh, here the omega 1, omega 2, omega 3 and this correspond to the closed loop system where the inputs of the regulator are u1 and u2. So if I apply this I can understand that I will have the state variable of the whole system will be the state variable of the initial system x, x, y and z plus this one, which has only one state variable corresponding to v. So if I write the state equation of the closed loop system, so the closed loop system is this one, I will have x dot equal v cos theta, because this will be removed by that, and it remains this. I will have y dot equal v sine theta, Due to this, I will have also theta dot equal to u1 and I will have v dot equal to u2 as due to this. And it corresponds to the state equation I wanted to have for my uh, system. So I will try to simulate this. This is my Python program and we can understand that I have just in this new program implemented so this corresponds to the matrix A I did not change anything the control law is given here but I had another formula for my real system so this is the omni wheel robot and this one to my new variable V corresponding to the speed and uh, uh, and this is uh, uh, the controller I will try to simulate uh, using Python so I have to initialize of course the state variable here to 10 uh, if I uh, switch uh, to to Python uh, this is uh, my corresponding program I will run it and I can see that my robot here behaves like a classical car so I ask it so we can see that the camera is always front and it moves for the pilot it will control only u1 and u2 so u1 means I want to rotate left but I don't want to accelerate and it is much more comfortable for the pilot so due to the controller I was able to change the behavior of the system and it is one of the main objectives of control theory.